that goes into this. I mean, there's a lot of volunteers over at Riverbank Zoo, too, that a lot of people probably don't know about. Yeah, there's, you know what, there's a lot that goes on here. Of course, uh, volunteering opportunities at Riverbank Zoo. There are a ton of volunteers that all make this happen. And these are my goggles. We'll get back to them in a second. Um, but a lot of volunteer opportunities for folks, but it really is those guys and girls who come in for free to interact with the public. They do tours, and they actually do a lot of the work, including getting in the big 55,000-gallon tank here inside the Ark at Riverbanks. Of course, it's Wild Wednesday, and we're about to go swimming in a couple of minutes. But first, Beth Berry, let's go through some of the gear that's going to keep me safe this morning. I mean, I'm a swimmer, but there's sharks down there. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the sharks when you're in there. That's what she says when she's high and dry. But let's start with the first thing, of course, is the goggles I had on over here. These are just kind of standard dive goggles because it is salt water. Yes. It is like the real like ocean salt water, yeah. right? All right. How do I sink? I mean, because I, do I have to swim down? No, we actually have a lot of weight. We have a weight belt right over here. Um, basically, what we do when we get in is we just weight ourselves down a whole bunch, and you just sink to the bottom and walk around. How, how much is this? this is heavy. That's got 25 pounds in it. Christy Seguin would be proud of me. I'm getting a little there exercise this morning. Get some exercise, man. Look at that. All right. And of course, there is the wet suit. It. Yes. And so, and this, is, this is like neoprene. It's going to keep me warm because it's only like 70 degrees in there, right? It's almost 80 in there right now, so it's not too bad. This is a three mil wetsuit. We do have some thicker ones for people who get cold or easy. Okay. But right now it's not too bad. It does get a little bit warmer in there in the summer, up to about 82 or so. You notice the watch box blue is the one I picked out. Yeah, that's why we brought it for you. Now, what about the fact that I can't hold my breath for a long time? Well, here we do what's called something on a hookah system. So we have these compressors and all these yellow hoses and everything, and that's how we breathe in our tanks. We don't have those big, heavy tanks on our backs. Janet, go ahead and take a breath. Good. No? All right. Well, I fire the suck up. Let's see what this is like. <laughs> Here oh. you go. Try again. I All right. Trying. So this, uh, this is a compressor. It's going to feed me air when I'm down. Yes. All right. You know this Darth Vader is joke there in there somewhere. Of course. <laughs> Look, you are our father. I am I am your father. So you guarantee oh I'm going to be able to breathe down there? Yes, I do. Right. Go ahead and shut that off for one second. It's awfully loud. So what kinds of things the volunteers, when they actually are down there, and I know there's shows every day that folks can see at 1230 every day right here in the ark, but what are they doing when they're in there? Well, at 12.30, it's a feeding dive, so part of what they do is feed all of our sharks and our fish while they're in there. Um, they also scrub one of the windows, and we do what's called hydro cleaning, so we clean up some of the gravel. That's all done at 12.30. And then we also have an afternoon dive where the diver gets in and scrubs a certain part of the tank, because there's a lot of tank to be cleaned here. Right. Can't do it all in one day, so twice a week, each part of this tank gets cleaned by our divers. And of course, uh, visitors to the zoo can all see this, because all that glass that you guys, if you haven't been here, you're going to see in a few minutes, but it's all pretty much, you can see the underworld. World, underwater world yep. this year. All right, this is good stuff. All right, I'm going to slip into that, um, that wetsuit, Janet, and it's oh so terribly sexy. I'm just saying. It's like, it's like right. wearing Spanx, you know? Right. Well, you should be used to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously. I'm just kidding. I'm just anyway, kidding, Tyler. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go down. We're going to play with that big giant sea turtle. Can you see him? Where is he? There's a, there's a big giant sea turtle, a sea tortoise in here we're going to play with in a minute. His hey, name you is should Bob. do some scrubbing on the tank that, that they were talking about. Help them out a little bit. Well, yeah, they're going to, they're putting me to work. Just like last time when I did the flamingos, they're getting the free labor out of me for sure. But we're going to be <laughs> feeding some and I'm going to play with a stingray. And I don't know where Bob the tortoise is. A wild Wednesday. That's it, guys.